Hi everyone, it's Adriana here for Couture Creations and welcome to my YouTube. I created a art journal page using the You Go Girl collection of stamps and dies and also stays in place ink pads. So today I'm going to create in my art journal book. It's a book pages that doesn't come out so I've given it two coats of white gesso to to actually help prevent the alcohol inks to absorb onto the paper. So now I'm using one of the couple of colours of the new Couture Creations Glitter Accent Alcohol Inks. This one's turquoise and they're mixing in through a little bit of pumpkin as well. Now I'm not using the, bar, the pluffer to move out and move the colour around. What I'm using is Isopro alcohol and my paintbrush and I'm just use, using a little bit of the puffer to dry it but also just moving the colour around. What I want to do is create like a bit of a, a wash effect of the alcohol ink. So I've just created a background and I'm going to add in now a bit of a pumpkin glitter accent just sprinkle that on with a brush and I think those two colours look beautiful together turquoise and the pumpkin sort of like an orangey yellow. Once I've created my page I'm going to leave that to completely dry. I must emphasize that the alcohol ink must be completely dry before you start stamping over the top. Couture Creations Glitter Accent Alcohol Inks are really pretty and they do have, once those dries on your paper and on your synthetic paper or also just normal in your art journal once you've added a couple of coats of gesso, they really glisten and you can see in the page there, I'll show you after how the actual page does really shine. I'm now using a couple of stamps from the new collection from Couture Creations. It's designed by Lucy Campagnu. It's the You Go Girl collection of stamps and also a previous collection here we have from the Blooming Friendship collection. I'm using the flower and that splotchy background stamp as well. And what I'm going to do is just stamp around there using Stays in Place ink pads. So I have two colours of the Stays in Place ink pads. I'm using chocolate sprinkles and as you can see I'm just dabbing the stamp pad over the colour and just adding it to my page and I'm also using matte jet black. Now this stamp pad is easy to use and it's permanent so once it's dry it will not move unless you add alcohol colour to it it will move so like all permanent inks it adheres very good on all types of surfaces, non-porous or porous surfaces. So here I'm just stamping that branch from the Blooming Friendship collection and also the background stamp with the chocolate sprinkles stays in place ink pad. Now I'm going to create two backgrounds to make some flowers and what I'm going to use is a piece of synthetic paper and a couple of colours of the new Glitter Accents alcohol ink. I'm using topaz and pumpkin and I'm going to move that around with some blending solution and there's my finished page. I really like this page with those two colours. I'm also going to do again another page here that I'm going to be stamping some flowers once it's completely dry and I'm using um, the couple of colours. I'm using the Ice Blue Metallic alcohol ink and also the turquoise and with those two colours and blending that all over with some blending solution and leaving that to completely dry. I must really 
emphasize it must be completely dry before you start stamping on top of it. Using the air blower to move the alcohol ink around is just a great tool to have and it helps with moving the colour and just blending in the alcohol ink colour. I really love the effect that it leaves like a water colour effect. Once I've finished doing my creating on those two pieces of paper, using my Go Power and Emboss machine and using the plates and metal shim as well, I'm cutting out some flowers once I've actually stamped over these pages with my beautiful flower from the Delight, it's from the You Girl Go collection and it's called Delightful Flower. I will have a list of all the products I've used in my video in the description below so please do check that out so now I'm stamping around my actual two pages that I created with the glitter accent alcohol inks with the beautiful flower from you go girl collection it's a set that actually includes the die to cut out that flower and using the alcohol ink stays in place black little mini ink pad stamping it onto top of the actual synthetic paper and just letting that completely dry before I start cutting them out with my die cutting machine. I've used my Go Power electric die cutting machine and I use the metal shim as well because synthetic paper is a little bit more thicker than normal paper or cardstock. And I really love the effect that the alcohol inks have given onto the synthetic paper that these flowers are not just one color they're very muted and some sections of it are really nice sort of watery color effect which I really love and the two color combinations look really beautiful so once I cut out all the flowers you can see them here. I also cut out some of the leaves and I coloured them also with alcohol ink markers. And they cut, these are the two colours that I used. I'll set, we put those in the list down below. And I cut them all out and also I cut out some little butterflies with black cardstock. You can see I added some more script ink pad sort of design onto the page and a little bit of some distressing. Um, netting from another collection from Couture Creations which was called Seaside Girl. So I'm going to now glue on all my flowers and my leaves and using a, my quick adhesive glue, the perfect glue for gluing anything to my art journal. This is the best glue and it dries clear and it dries not instantaneously so if I want to move a few things I can. don't know about you but I really enjoy playing with in my art journal and trying different color combinations and different techniques and different materials in my art journal. I have all the list of all the products I've used on the description below this video so please do check it out and also uh, I have links to my blog and also to Couture Creations website and blog to see all the beautiful products from Couture Creations. There is another couple of colours coming through now with the alcohol inks. They're called the Golden Age alcohol inks and I can't wait to play with those as well. So once I glued my butterflies, I actually stamped 
a sentiment from the You Girl collection, another sentiment um, set that has quite a few nice sentiments stamped. I actually coloured also inside the butterfly with alcohol inks using the same colours, the pumpkin and the turquoise. And I don't know if you can see, probably in some of the sections here, you can see the background is really nice and shimmery. It's got a glitter sheen to it and even the butterflies look glittery because I actually use the alcohol inks which got glitter inside them. So there's my flowers and a few extra flowers around the edges. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I hope I've inspired you to use alcohol inks in your art journal but please make sure that you add two coats of gesso before you prime them, before you actually work with them as well. So thanks for joining me today. I have a couple of close-up photos of my page at the end of this video. Please uh, subscribe to my video and also give a big like if you like this video and like to see more or if you have any questions please leave a questions down below. I usually will answer them in the next 24 hours. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.